Hello everybody, today we're going to look at gram positive cocci. And for this part, uh, we will focus on the genus Staphylococcus. Staphylococcus is a genus of gram positive bacteria that appear around cocci and in grape like clusters. They're gram positive because they retain the chemical crystal violet, hence, they appear purple under microscopic view following a gram stain. First, Staphylococcus aureus. Staphylococcus aureus are in clusters or tetrads and they are gram positive cocci. They form buttery yellow colonies on mannitol salt agar. A bit about mannitol salt agar. Mannitol salt agar is a differential and selective media that is used for the isolation of staphylococci and it usually contains about 7.5% sodium chloride, hence, selects for those bacteria that can tolerate high salt concentrations, also known as halophiles or salt loving bacteria. Mental salt agar also distinguishes bacteria based on their ability to ferment the sugar mannitol. I'll explain that uh, late, uh, shortly. Next, uh, Staphylococcus aureus, they are catalase positive. A bit about the catalase test. Uh, the catalase test is performed to see if a microbe has the enzyme catalase which is capable of degrading hydrogen peroxide, which is a very dangerous chemical. And they are also coagulase positive. A bit about the coagulase test now. The coagulase test is done to identify whether an organism produces the coenzyme coagulase which causes the fibrin of blood plasma to clot. Here we have Staphylococcus aureus growing on mannitol salt agar. And you can see that the area uh, around the colonies are rather yellow. There's a reason for this. Mannitol salt agar contains mannitol and uses phenol red as a pH indicator in the medium. At pH levels below 6.9, the media is yellow in color. And at neutral pH, the color is red, while above pH 8.4, the color of phenol red is pink. There's a reason uh, why this media, this, this, this particular area here is yellow in color, because when mannitol is fermented by a bacteria, an acid is produced, resulting in the formation of a yellow area that uh, surrounds the isolated colony. Staphylococcus aureus under microscopic view. So Staphylococcus aureus are aerobic facultative anaerobes and they form grape-like clusters. They cause food poisoning within 4-6 to six hours of ingestion of contaminated food, boils and other skin infections, osteomyelitis, post-operative infections, sepsis, endocarditis, toxic shock syndrome, scalded skin syndrome and pneumonia. Next, uh, Staphylococcus epidermidis. Staphylococcus epidermidis are in clusters and they are gram-positive cocci. Staphylococcus epidermidis forms white colony colonies on mannitol salt agar. They are catalase positive and are coagulase negative, which means they do not have the coenzyme coagulase. Here we have Staphylococcus epidermidis uh, growing on mannitol salt agar. And if you observe here, the, the media is not yellow as the previous one because here, staph because Staphylococcus epidermidis cannot ferment mannitol and when it, when it cannot uh, ferment mannitol, there is no acidic byproduct that is produced, hence the media does not change, uh, in, hence the phenol red in the media doesn't change to yellow. You have uh, Staphylococcus epidermidis under microscopic view. Staphylococcus epidermidis are aerobic, causes sepsis and infective endocarditis in intravascular drug users and hospitalized patients with implantable devices. Next, Staphylococcus cephrophyticus. Staphylococcus cephrophyticus are in clusters. They are gram positive cocci and they form white colonies on mannitol salt agar and are novobiosin resistant. They are catalase positive and coagulase negative. Here we have uh, Staphylococcus uh, cephrophyticus growing on mannitol salt agar. 
Staphylococcus cephalophyticus under microscopic view. Staphylococcus uh, cephalophyticus are aerobic. They're the second most common cause of urinary tract infections, UTI. Uh, next bacteria, Staphylococcus hemolyticus. Staphylococcus hemolyticus are in clusters. Their gram-positive cocci and they, uh, their colony size is large. And they, they, they are pigment producers. They grow in the presence of 10% sodium chloride. They are coagulase negative, which means they do not have the coenzyme coagulus, which causes the fibrin in blood plasma to clot. Here we have uh, colonies of Staphylococcus hemolyticus growing on Columbia horse blood agar. Staphylococcus hemolyticus under microscopic view. Staphylococcus uh, hemolyticus are aerobic. They are the second most frequently encountered coagulase negative Staphylococcus species associated with human diseases. Uh, causes native valve endocarditis, septicemia, peritonitis, urinary tract infections, UTI and wound, bone and joint infections. Next bacteria, Staphylococcus hominis. Staphylococcus hominis are in tetrads and clusters. They are gram-positive cocci. They grow in both aerobic and anaerobic conditions but grow less in the latter. They form white to tan colonies and they grow in the presence of 7.5% sodium chloride. The catalase positive and coagulase negative. Staphylococcus hominis under microscopic view. Staphylococcus hominis are aerobic. They are the major component of normal flora along with other coagulase negative Staphylococcus species. Has been associated with septicemia. Staphylococcus uh, hominis subspecies Novo biospeticus may be associated with clinically significant septicemia and its Novo biosin resistance. Uh, that's all for today. Thank you.